changing apartment. We are going inside. Can you see the environment? This is my kitchen. Welcome to another video and yes, <laughs> yeah, we moved into a new apartment in Germany and it was an episode guys. If you remember one of the videos I did where I explained how we moved into that, our previous apartment. The apartment we got is a six month contract apartment. That is to say, at the end of six months, we would leave the house and go get another apartment. So because we got the house out of rush, we found that the house is actually expensive. So we felt this is not scalable. We we're paying 1,800 euro per month. Guys, that is a lot of money. <laughs> like you're working as well is pumping out all your money, you know. So we felt, yeah, we needed to get a more affordable apartment. And that was what led us to get in this place. Hey guys, so today we are going on an empty house tour. We are changing apartment and I thought to bring you guys along. So, let's get going. It smells away from our house, like two opposite ends. But good guys, like it's a good way to start the year. New environment. I just, I don't know, I just feel so much in my spirit that there's a new level this year and this I'm saying to everyone watching me, don't approach the year as if it's a continuation, it's a new season, it's a season of great things, so let's be optimistic, yes, approaching 2024 because really this is a good year. Mm. Guys, we are going inside. Can you see the environment? Can you see? There's our name there. The kitchen is usually meshed with the sitting room. This is the balcony. Yeah, construction is still going on outside. Oh, the balcony is more spacious. And this is my kitchen. <laughs> ah, first of all, I love the cabinets. They're not bad. Then let me check what's this. Ah, this is the fridge. This fridge is big and this is the freezer and this is our flowers. This is the whole oh, Yeah, this for cut ah, See, I book is your daddy. Your daddy dropped you here. This is the toilet, washroom basin. This is the big bathing area. Yeah, I'm um, yeah, quite big, but good. So that's all. That's the end of today's tour. So we are moving in in a few minutes.
we're going to start arranging today and guys i couldn't film the moving and all because my husband did most of the moving with an agency and i was just indoor packing out items in the carton and i thought to just bring you guys through this process of how i'm going to start arranging this house from head to toe guys hi my heart wants to cut i don't even know where to begin to begin you know the first time we parked from that service department it was stressful but we didn't have to get certain services to help us move our things but guys this time around 80 percent of the things in the house were houses so we ended up getting a service to help us pack our things so they packed the major things while we were left to pack the very minor things the price for these people helping you pack from one place to the other is going to like it depends on the package you go for the package we went for is about 700 euro you know to move your items from one place to the other don't do anything, no, no, don't let us put things until we'll come back and rearrange you once and for all. Okay, put it there now. There is Gary, it's something that we use every day. Put it here. You arrange this based on the things of wow, on the frequency of usage, all the ones that will pass. Yeah. <laughs> to my daily beloved women and couples who are planning to travel out of Nigeria soon. If you don't know, know it now. You are traveling abroad. Go and learn carpentry. Go and learn bricklayer. Go and learn plumbing. Learn how to be an electrician. Learn everything and anything. Because to get the services abroad, to get the services in Germany is pricey. Now we got a dishwasher. Fixing that dishwasher was going to about a hundred plus. You want to fix cuttings, you want to fix light. It's not cheap. It is not cheap. So guys, to save costs, we had to do everything ourselves. I was just telling my husband that please so <laughs> wear your gloves so, <laughs> to fix this light. My husband became the electrician. I became the interior decor person. <laughs> ah. <laughs> but this. I can really tell you that after my husband was able to fix these lights, I was so proud of him that whoa! <laughs> when he was fixing the lights, oh, I was just like, hey, will this come up? here i would like to you guys there's a lot of things to be done i set off with the kitchen yesterday i'm just going to finish up with it and see how i can clear this place to at least look good then i have to rush out to join my husband to shop a few things that we need in this place because this is a bigger apartment like i showed you guys and I'm, I'm in the midst of a lot of work i spent this december cooking so that kind of local business cooking for nigerians right here in germany berlin and it did really well and i was stressed for a period of days i stayed cooking since 22nd and we packed into our house 27th which was right now is the voice today from today that i'm feeling and we stayed cleaning yesterday <laughs> grudgingly and now today i will just do quite a bit of it and we've not been eating so well too so i'll try to cook something guys just come with me and i just want to keep you guys in touch with how i'm going to go about this whole setting that's long and short of this gist and i'll just get on it right now and get going <laughs> Since. 
know it's been rough so it's been a final day so more filling she prefers breast milk or rice and these are first meal i don't want it to be it's not hot i really i'm sorry um mm, mm, that's my baby that's my baby yum 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 <coughs> mommy is slow sorry 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 why is mommy even slow why why on earth is mommy even slow after making you feel this under since morning? Like really since morning. Oh my god, mommy is even talking. I'm forgetting that she should have done the best. Oh god, mommy, no no. We won't take that. We won't no. Hey, don't keep a really waiting. What's that? I don't know, day. I really like kind of messed up my dress, so I had to change. So I'm done with the kitchen area. At least kind of looks be fitting right thank god we don't have a lot of rooms we only have two rooms um myself and my husband's working room then the bedroom then the sitting room meshed with the kitchen so there are still some things we still need to fix in the house we still need to fix the dishwasher then this microwave isn't supposed to be there but because there's a part of this kitchen you see that space that is there it's just less to us so they need to do something so we would call them back to come and fix that area my husband got this apartment while we were in Nigeria. This apartment goes for 95. So the beautiful thing about Germany is when you go for an expensive apartment as this, you have a leverage. You can apply to the government for a kind of refund, giving them proof that the apartment is too expensive for your family, especially if one of the partners isn't working and you show your monthly income and they could reason with you that, oh, okay, you're paying this rent. There are different types of it. There's a particular type that you get a kind of certificate from Germany and that you would have leverage or you will be able to get some kind of government houses that are way subsidized for larger rooms and the other one is you get an expensive apartment you still apply that your family is not able to afford this apartment and the government returns some amount of money to you so we will be going for the second option because guys this is still expensive but it's better than what we were paying before and while we were there we didn't even know about this grant that the government offers you know and that is why i would just advise anyone coming to germany or any part of the world actually just continue to get as much information as possible so that you don't get to suffer some things before you know that they exist you get what i'm saying <laughs> of the whole clean and all we're not eating well we're always looking for items <laughs> but some of us we drank a lot of gary yeah if i want to just continue as if you know just like right. joke But I tried to make that time short enough so that we could balance well. And I'm glad that it took a long four weeks, but we are really better now. Everyone is good, more balanced. This is day three settling in day. <laughs> Today, no much things done. We just woke up and we are how to get few things in the house because, of course. <laughs> We have to replace certain things. It's a bigger apartment, so we need to get some things. So we are going to one of the stores, Poco. We found few things there some time back, and we are going back to pick one or two. So guys, let's go. Leaving that house and coming to this new place it was just an opportunity for me to give life a different approach. I don't want to put myself in some level and class. Like, you know, there's a way you have a dream of the future, a mindset of who you are. And this past week taught me that you don't sit down and wait that one day in the future things will get better. You are the carrier of your dreams. You can bring it into materialization. So for me, it was just, yeah, I want a different 
different environment this time. I wanted my environment to look more inspiring and a pointer to the future I'm going into. So I decided, okay, this time around, I'm going to go a little bit into interior decor. I don't know much about interior decor, but I found it a nice space. And guys, I dragged my husband into this, like, okay, let's do something different in this new house, you know? And guys, so along the line, we felt, okay, let's see the opportunities we have because it would mean spending some dough, you know? So we're checking online about IKEA, then we found that if you are in Germany, you have an opportunity to get a family package with them where you can shop items and pay instrumentally. So we went there. <laughs> to apply for this only for us to discover that we can't get it because we do not yet have a permanent residency so you can get your permanent residency in germany uh, depending on your level of german language for some people if you have b2 or b1 in german you can apply for permanent residency in german at 27 months i really can't remember the thing is we have not spent 83 months yet my husband has a one in german because it's the sole applicant if he has b2 by now i think we might be able to apply for permanent residency in july but now that he has a one we have to wait till december i think at that point we will be 33 months in Germany so we're not able to get that voucher and <laughs> it was kind of shaky for us like hey what do we do so we decided all right let's buy a few things or let's buy the things we know we can afford and forget about it guys this is our final day today we came out to finally shop the items we want to get as i went on to do the registration so let's get on with it let's see the things i'm going to buy guys this place um, can displace you kind of like a lot of beautiful things you don't even know what you want to choose <laughs> i'm feeling like that like yeah well let's see how it goes peace out buy one or two from mixture of Ikea and Poco and Temu mixture of stores but we're able to get really nice things that we love and of course we are not done buying everything we want to buy there are still few items we want to get but so far so good I can say we are 80 90 percent settled this is me trying to do a kind of house tour for you guys so this is the sitting room and these are the lights we got one two three my husband fixed all of those then we got this portraits we got the letterings from temo and we got the frames from dm and we just fixed it ourselves this is our chair from before i got this from ikea then we got the dining set also from ikea this flower vase from poco yeah the lights also from ikea these are from poco this wall frame from ikea and this photo frame from ikea also so this is what the whole setup looks like afterwards yeah and that's the kitchen so it's a sitting room matched with kitchen setup and that is how most of the uh, houses are like in Germany this is the hallway then the bedroom yeah this is yeah a washing machine and we got this from Poco and this is a toilet set yeah the room yeah <laughs> so I just did a thing or two here and tada my work room work room so small actually but i love it <laughs> really nice guys you should congratulate me for this work room i really love it yeah that's the camera we use for Ariella whenever we're out of the room this is the last part it's my husband's work room and yeah it's still work in progress and this will be the end of the house tour <laughs> Yeah, thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye, y'all.